Hello, I'm going to show you how to carry two babies, so twins or like different ages babies in tubing slings on the hip. So I'm going to start with one. I'm going to prepare it. So preparing your ring sling and making sure there isn't too much room is very important with twin carries because it just makes the process a lot quicker. So I'm going to make sure there's just enough room for my baby. So for small babies it would be roughly this amount of space. Bigger babies leave a little bit more. And I'm going to leave the rings roughly here because I don't want them too high up, but I don't want them to go too low down. So roughly here is fine. It has to be comfortable. So we need to be careful with positioning. Okay, and then I'm going to bring the second one uh, over my shoulder. So it's going to go yeah, like this. <laughs> so if you're never sure, like, like I am, you hold the rings on one arm and then the other one goes through. And then the rings will go on that shoulder of that arm. Okay, and then I'm going to tighten a little bit again and bring the rings kind of roughly together-ish. Okay, so we're just in a room, maybe a little bit higher up. Okay, so now we're ready. We've got two pockets for each baby in each. Bring a baby on your shoulder. And then you're going to sit your baby like that on top of the band. And very important with ring sling to let your baby's bum drop over the fabric like this. So we've got good positioning. Spread the fabric to the neck. And make sure the fabric isn't too tight around the knee. So kind of like gathered in a nice deep seat. Baby's close enough to kiss the top of the head so I can see airways. And then I'm just gonna bring the slack here to the ring and tighten. So, like this. Before you start, always make sure your fabric is entangled with the ring. So, like, make sure you untangle it. Okay, nice, good, nice and comfortable. Then we bring second baby in. So, bring baby over my shoulder and just really slowly take your time. If you need to support the head a bit more, bring your arm across and let your baby's bum drop over the band. Again, I'm going to spread the fabric to the neck. Make sure the baby's sitting in a nice deep seat with fabric gathered at the knee pit. And then I'm going to grab my slack and I'm just going to really tighten here. Pull strain by strain until it's nice and tight. Okay, now if you need extra head support and your babies are very small, you might want to roll the tails like this around the neck on each side so they can have a little bit more support around there, especially with newborns and very small babies, it's very, very important. Make sure you spread that fabric on your shoulders so it's comfortable and it's spread out on your back as well. So really take your time to just like wriggle things around. And there you go, here we have it. It's totally fine, my arms are not pushed out. Try to bring your babies as close to each other as possible without them bothering each other. Make sure there is no fabric covering the face and that's very important because you've got fabric quite close to the face here. So move it away, make sure their faces are never ever covered and are always, always visible. If you find the rings have moved a bit, what you can do is just wriggle them. But you can also like wrap some fabric or like a moving cloth around the rings if they ended up a little bit too close to their face, because that can happen. Um, and that's it, it's always super handy uh, for feeding because you can just grab the tail, lift, loosen, and then you can bring baby on one boob, same on the other side. It gives you lots of relief and you can tandem feed a really nice way like that. It takes a little bit of practice, I have to say. So go check out my tutorial for a single tone carry. When you feel confident, then add a second ring sling. And, and there you go. So to take babies out, you can just loosen a little bit. And then bring my baby this over my shoulder. And then same here. Like that, and I'm 
ready to go again. There's another video I've made showing lots and lots of different ways to feed in rinsings. They're really awesome for that. There's lots of different positioning. You can breastfeed, chest feed, you can tube feed, you can bottle feed. They're really handy for that. So go check it out. Thank you for watching.